to the E, to the E, man. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Had a nigga in the truck, where the wood at? All the niggas acting up. What's up, internet? I got quite a bit of stuff to show you that I just got from my friend Ted. Spent $100 on all this stuff and I was, I was apprehensive at first because just going to Ireland, by the time you see this I'm probably either in Ireland or on my way to Ireland, scheduling this ahead of time. And he made me an offer I couldn't refuse, I had to pick it up. There's a lot of Xbox stuff in here, which I'm not a big fan of, but I'll probably be throwing that in on my next contest video. 900 subscribers is right around the corner, so if you're a Zelda fan and an Xbox fan, definitely subscribe. Uh, first up, we got some stickers. He used to work at GameStop, so we have some miscellaneous Xbox stickers here. Some Dorito Xbox 360 stickers. Some Xbox pins. Along with a pen. I might gank the pen out of here. I'm gonna gank the pen. I always need a pen. I'm gonna gank this pen. Yeah, a pen's mine. But you'll get the other stuff probably. Um, I don't know what this is called. Some kind of light up thing, Xbox 360 related. Some cables for Xbox 360 that I've never quite seen before. Uh, this is a Xbox 360 audio adapter. Don't really know what you need that for. But, uh, and then I believe this is used to hook up an Xbox 360 to a monitor, like a computer monitor called a VGA AV cable. I was never into like hooking up a system in any way other than the way that it came in the box so don't know if I'd have any use for that. I'm not really looking to keep any of my Xbox stuff anyway. Like I have a few things that I've held on to mostly because it's worthless and <laughs> there's no real good way of getting rid of it. Uh, Moving on, actually no, we have some more Xbox 360 stuff. Got this Xbox 360 lanyard. And by the way, this is gonna be the most, in a video I've probably ever said Xbox 360. We got a little wristband from GameStop, still sealed. And lastly, I believe the basic headset that the system came with. Got a few other odds and ends here. Um, two random ass games. One of them for Xbox 360 I'll be trading in to finish off uh, getting credit for a game that I'm picking up soon. Or by the time you've seen this I would have already picked it up. I use this as part of my trade in for Yokai Watch. Uh, it still goes for about $11 trade in belly which is not bad. And this is actually a game I ended up trading him I believe last time. Uh, and he just can't get into Tekken 3 anymore. I guess it's uh, a little too old and it hasn't aged well, he said. I love this game, so I think I'm just going to add it back into my collection. <laughs> like, honestly, I think, I think I traded it right out of my collection for him. Uh, fuck, this Xbox 360 parade doesn't end. Xbox 360 handbook. This was really cool to get. He traded me a wave bird a while back, but he couldn't find the receiver. He found the receiver. I have the dongle. So I now have, I, I lose track of how many wave birds I have that have the dongle, but it's something like three, maybe it's four. Nope, it's four. I now have a full set of wave birds. That's awesome. Next up we have some figures that he found in his parents attic. Uh, we got Zidane from Final Fantasy IX and Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. These are pretty cool. So go right up on my shelf. And this one I'm happy about. I wish it was a little bit cleaner. Like maybe the face just looked like this. But we got a Mega Man figurine. Posable. 
It'll look cool on the shelf. You can't tell, hopefully, how dirty his face kind of is, but when he's up on my shelf back there, it'll be fine. And we also have a Game Boy Advance SP 101 with the brighter screen. Very nice condition. It does have the issue um, that I've noticed some of the SPs having with the power button, or I guess the power switch, being a little bit finicky. Like if it's touched at all during the time when it's on, it might turn off. I don't really know if there's a fix for that, but I'll probably be getting rid of this to get back a decent chunk of the money I spent. Uh, the next thing, unfortunately I don't have the game for yet, but it's Bravely Default, the Collector's Edition, has everything in here except for the game, and it's in very nice condition. I should have bought this when it came out, but I think it sold out pretty quick. I'll get the game eventually. I've been like tentatively waiting for a price drop or to find it at a garage sale or a flea market for a cheaper price, but I've probably... I probably should have picked it up at some point when I had GameStop credit. And the last two slash three items, very happy to have. One of them was the main reason that I wanted this, and that is Castlevania Double Pack, complete in the box for the Game Boy Advance. I now have all the Game Boy Advance Castlevanias in the box, technically, because this is both of them. Like, I don't need them individually now. So, very happy to have that. As always, he keeps his stuff in great condition, so that's always great. And the last item is definitely going to be going into the 900 subscriber contest, which will happen when I get about 30 more subscribers. I've wanted this game from him for quite a while for you guys, because I don't really collect Zelda that much, and it's not one you see very often. It's not the most popular Zelda game, and probably harder to find in the box. Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance, absolutely mint condition, and it comes with the guide. So that'll definitely be held for you guys until I reach 900 subscribers. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this pickup. Did I get a good deal for $100? I think I did. Uh, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and as always, keep it real internet.